Hi, it's Viv from BNC Camera. Even though we've advanced considerably since the days of film photography, black and white imagery has an allure. This article will reveal any mysteries you may think about regarding how to take stunning, clear, and well-posed black and white photographs. Isn't there something mystical about black and white photography? The timeless beauty of black and white photographs, the feeling they convey, the many lighting contrasts that come to life, beautiful. For many years, black and white film was the only way to photograph a subject. Color photography has been around a long time. In fact, the first color photograph was taken all the way back in 1861. But it wasn't until the 1960s that it took hold of the world and has remained that way ever since. Some people believe that black and white photographs are old fashioned and have no practical value in today's photo landscape. Let's prove them wrong, shall we? You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Some of the world's most famous photos are black and white. Look at them for inspiration. Here's one that even many regular photographers miss. Look at old black and white films and photographs for ideas to get good with black and white photos. Back in the day when people couldn't use all their color options, they had to take amazing photographs to get people interested. Looking at old films and photos is helpful, but you may also want to try looking at black and white shots from today's era to get your brain going. So much is still possible in this medium. Lean on contrast for intrigue and depth. Because black and white photography focuses on contrast, you should make it a point to emphasize it in your photos. Consider how the photograph will appear in black and white before shooting it. A brilliant sky contrasted with a dark item will appear more attractive. The contrast between a person or thing silhouette and a bright backdrop can be stunning, even hypnotic. Shoot raw and keep your options open. If you're a professional photographer, raw is your best format. However, it's particularly crucial if you're shooting in black and white. You may be able to adjust the image to your liking in RAW and then return it to color if the photo doesn't quite work out how you thought. Push the limits of exposure. You don't need to keep a normal exposure forever when it comes to photography. Black and white portrait work is an excellent place to play around with exposure. Occasionally, your images may provide interesting results if you purposefully overexpose or underexpose. This is especially significant in black and white landscape photography and common in cinema, which can make images more impactful. Learn about the relationship between shades. The darks in most cases may not be too dark when shooting black and white. If you shoot some dark darks, what a great phrase to say on your camera or in post-production, you can make the white stand out even more. The whites and grays will jump out if they're faint. Making your images pop is crucial. You want your viewer to notice a subject that catches their attention and then examine the rest of the shot for additional information. Black and white photographs are pretty effective in popping. Keep an eye out for patterns. Your viewers will too. Beautiful photograph often includes a pattern, something that draws the viewer's attention and invites them to look for more patterns. Rocks on the ground, blades of grass, automobiles moving from left to right, and any other recurring item, texture, or design might be used as pattern. The starkness of black and white will help pull patterns out from wherever you're pointing your camera. The simple color layout demands that you add complexity elsewhere in your photo. And patterns are a great way to do this. Edit your photos for a finished look. You must consider the editing process if you're using black and white. Photoshop and Lightroom can definitely enhance your black and white photos, but there are programs available for black and white pictures that may be more beneficial to you. There is a Photoshop and Lightroom plugin called Silver Effects Pro 2. This is a software that improves black and white photos it streamlines your post-production workflow and makes it much easier to produce a decent picture. It's a fantastic little tool to have in your arsenal. Remember to adjust brightness and contrast. Certain photographs that you may believe would look stunning in black and white because they're devoid of color to begin with. A photo of a checkered floor in black and white 
A zebra in front of a dark gray sky is an example. You may believe that these pictures would benefit from a black and white effect. Still, the fact is that amazing black and white photos are about telling a narrative, drawing attention to a topic, and conveying feelings without being clouded by colors. It's not about capturing things in a specific hue because they're colorless to begin with. As always, story and or concept come first. Black and white photo artists have created pictures that cover a wide range of genre. Whether it's street photography in black and white, erotica in black and white, portrait photographs in black and white, or even animal photography in black and white, photographers have added new dimensions to their work by shooting from a fresh perspective. Sometimes you have to go back to go forward, right? Try black and white today and expand your world beyond the binary.